So today we're going to be talking about a few different things. Uh, we're going to start off with the levels of organization. So uh, the smallest one that we're going to start with is subatomic, which are protons, neutrons, and electrons. Um, and then when those bond form together, they create atoms. Atoms bonded together create molecules. Molecules bonded together are going to create macromolecules, which in turn create organelles. Uh, organelles create cells, and then cells create tissues, which your body is made of, and then tissues create organs, and then organs create organ systems, and then organ systems in turn create organisms. Um, and then uh, inside that organism, uh, we have homeostasis, which is the body's ability to maintain a stable environment uh, on the like an internal state internal environment uh, we have negative and positive feedback loops uh, for homeostasis uh, a negative will just turn on uh, when you're deviated from your set point uh, while positive is going to amplify that occurrence or increase the amount so it's going to make you shiver when you're cold or whenever you're hot it's going to make you sweat, so it's going to bring you back to your set point in, on your internal body. Uh, next are the directional terms. Uh, so we have anterior, which is going to be the front side of your body with your palms facing forward. Posterior is going to be the back side of your body, so back. Uh, superior is going to be looking up at something. Uh, inferior is going to be looking down. Uh, medial is going to be close to your midline. So midline going down your body, closest to that. Uh, while lateral is going to be outside, so it's going to be farther away, so like your arms. Distal is going to be farther from the trunk. So your head and your feet are distal to the trunk of your body. Proximal is going to be close to the trunk, so stuff that stays close. Uh, superficial is going to be close to the skin, while deep is going to be inside your muscles uh, to keep it warm uh, during the winter. Next are quadrants of the quadrants of the abdomen, um, and so those are going to be when the it's going to be the person's view, not the interviewee, but the person being interviewed. So their view is going to be. Right upper, left upper, right lower, left lower. Uh, so it's not the person looking at them's view, but rather the the actual individual there, whenever they're looking down at their abdomen, their view of it. Uh, planes of the body. So there are three different planes. So we have traverse, which is cut at the trunk of the body. So it'd be cut in half. Uh, Median is going to be cut left and right, so you're going to be cut down the midline of your body. And then frontal, you're going to have a front side and a back side. It's going to be cut, you're going to be cut in half down the side. Uh, and then we have three different body cavities. So we have the cranial, which is the head, which holds your brain. The thoracic cavity, which holds your lungs and your heart. And then your abdomen pelvic region, which uh, hold your abdomen and then your pelvic uh, parts of the body.